Thank you for joining us. Today we're going to talk about how to draw an arbitrary waveform using Siglent's EasyWave software, which you see here, and loading it onto a Siglent function generator. Today we'll be loading it onto the SDG1050, which you can find on Circuit Specialist's website. So to begin, the first thing you'll want to do is navigate to Siglent.com's website, their download page there or attached to this blog will also attach a link to the download page and from there you can find the uh, the firmware and software link here on their page and you can navigate to the corresponding software that you'll need based on whichever function generator you have once that is loaded you can open up the installation guide where you'll see requirements for installation. Make sure that you have plenty of hard disk space, RAM, appropriate operating system. And one other thing that you'll need in order to run this software is the NIVISA software, which you can find at the link in the manual or simply by going to ni.com slash visa and clicking on the downloads link there. Once you've installed those softwares, you'll want to extract and click the setups, and then you can load the EasyWave tool, which we've already have running here. Now that you're in the software, you can see some of the different function types you can either load from the preloaded functions here you can modify amplitude offset period phase symmetry you can also use this drop down here to select the type of waveform you want Today we're going to attempt to draw a turkey shape waveform. So we're actually go just going to use the hand draw feature of the software here. And we're going to load this image of a Cartesian turkey in order to attempt this. Starting from left to right, let's see if, how we can do. Keep in mind you can't go backwards to create certain shapes when drawing the waveform. So we're going to be a little bit limited. Once you've drawn the first part of the shape that you want, in this case we're creating two shapes, you can load your flash drive into your computer. Now that you've saved your waveforms to your flash drive, you can load the flash drive onto your Siglent function generator. You'll notice it tells you a USB flash drive has been detected upon power up. Pressing the store recall feature button, you can pull up the file paths, select your USB device, change the browser to file, change the file type to data and then recall the waveform that you're looking for now you can set which memory path you would like this one to be stored at we'll save it to ARB1 here for the top then we'll go back in change it to channel 2, so channel 2 has the top, go back to channel 1, go back into store recall, 
recall the bottom. We'll save this to ARB2 for simplicity sake. And there you see the bottom shape that we drew. Now as you can see we've connected our Siglent function generator to our Handtech oscilloscope to display the waveforms. We can power our Handtech scope on. And the waveforms are just one kilohertz frequency. This 200 megahertz oscilloscope has plenty of bandwidth to read that. So now we'll turn on the outputs for, for channel 1 and channel 2. As you can see, we have BNC to BNC connectors going from our function generator to our oscilloscope. We'll press the run button so we can begin acquiring the signal. We'll try auto set, see how that works. And there you can see our shape. There you have your turkey waveform. Perfectly displayed. We hope you enjoyed this demo of how to use the EasyWave software from Siglent and have a happy Thanksgiving.